Hey guys, it's Kat. So um, I'm just gonna do a quick hack this morning. I am headed out very shortly, so I've already done my hair and my um, daytime eye makeup and my eyebrows are also done. Um, but I wanted to show you how fast it is to get um, coverage with mascara 3D foundation, dimension, and still only one layer of makeup. So we're gonna do that quick and easy. I've got two brushes here that I absolutely love for this and my perfecting sponge, which I need to get wet real quick. So I'm putting it under water and squeezing it until it, I dropped it, until it gets bigger. So now it's a bit larger. Squeeze any excess water out. Okay. <clears throat> and then I have my 30 second hack brush and I have my detail hack. So you don't need to use all of those, but they are my favorite brushes, so I'm planning to use them. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go in with my contour. I'm going to use the um, stiff side of my detail hack. I'm going to go in with olive. It's a nice, um, cool brown. I'm going up here. I'm hugging my cheekbone. And then you can just kind of buff that in, or you can wait until the end. It depends how much of a hurry you're in. Okay, so I've buffed that in a little bit. It looks thick right now, but as you'll see, um, everything will blend together. And then putting my contour around my hairline, and I'm going from the hairline down so that it um, fades out so you're not stuck with like a dark line and people can tell you have makeup on right there. I'm going to go right under my chin to create the illusion of a chin and a shadow here and I'm going to pull that down. Just the same thing as I did on my forehead just to kind of spread that out. Don't be freaked out by my cheeks right now. Don't worry. Okay, then I have my 30 second half brush. Now you can use this side if you want a more full coverage, it's very stiff. Um, when you put it in your um, highlight color and you put it on, it'll go in nice and thick. I like to use this side. I like a lighter coverage. I'm going to go in with wheat. That is the color that is best for me right now as I'm a little bit tan. It can also get away with amber, but I personally feel a little bit um, pale when I do that. And I'm just going to lightly buff this in. I'm going to go right up here. Now, since we're talking one layer, you don't want to go over where you have already put your contour, so you're going to go around it. And you also don't need to do right on your cheekbone because you're going to go back in here with your blush. Okay, so all of these have a nice either yellow or white um, undertone to cancel out any red spots and blue. So it always looks a little crazy until you get it all blended out, as you can see. Um, then I'm going to go in with my blush. This is my B-squared brush. You don't have to use this. You can wipe this off and go back in with your blush that way. I'm going to go in with... Um, Frenchie. I'm going to put that, it's going to overlap my contour just a little right here. Okay, and that is it. It is applied, except now I'm going to go back through with my sponge and I'm going to blend everything together and get rid of this yellow cast on my face. So this sponge is damp, as you saw. I, uh, put it underneath water and I squeezed it until it got nice and big and then squeezed any excess water out and what that does is makes it so that when you put it on your face it doesn't soak up your makeup instead it just blends it and this way I, I realize the camera is not super great, but you can see it doesn't look cakey. It's not super thick. All it's doing 
is taking that stippling that I did with my big brush, my 30 second hack brush, and it's blending everything together. So almost like, imagine you have tiny dots of foundation all over your face and this is smushing them together so you have a nice airbrushed look for your makeup. Now the last thing I like to do is do this to my contour because I like to go over my contour last as it's a darker color. I don't want to spread it onto where the lighter color is. So we're going to keep that up here against the cheekbone. Try not to pull it down too low. You don't want your face to look hollow. You just want it to look shadowed so that people can see where your cheekbones are to give your face some shape. Now, of course, there are so many colors that if you want a lighter, more subtle contour, we have Ash, we have Astoria, which um, I really want to try. It's brand new, and I haven't put it in my kit yet. Um, there's also Stone, which is a little bit warmer of a color. But keep in mind, we always want our contour to be kind of cool so that... Um, it looks like a shadow and not a bronzer because you can add a bronzer during the winter or whenever you need it. And then I'm just going to make sure this that I did spread with my brush is nice and blended too. Okay. And that's my whole face. Um, if you are worried that your blush has now disappeared, you can always just do it at the very end instead of doing it when I did. Or you can just go back over it real quick and just keep it up higher. Don't put it actually here where we have seen many years before um, that was the thing to do. But right now we just want it up higher. We want to keep the light right here in this triangle section of our face that draws people's attention to our eyes and our mouth where we're talking instead of looking everywhere else. So um, that's my whole face of makeup. It's very Thin. It's a light coat. It doesn't feel like I have makeup on. It's super amazing. I don't know how fast we did that because I don't have a watch on. Um, but when I'm not talking, it's even faster. So remember that if you need makeup, that is super quick, super easy. The mom makeup, the minimalist makeup, you can turn this into a full coverage out on the town look also. You can go over it darker. You can take another um, highlight color if you like. And you can go here with um, an even lighter color. You can use the contour to contour your nose, um, to m straighten it out or make it look thinner. You would just put that here and then you would put a lighter color in the middle and right on the sides. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed that really quick kind of um, tutorial on hacking. So if you've already gotten your makeup, I hope that that helped you. A little reminder of what you, um, one of the ways you could be using it. If you're using it different because that works better for you, cool. We're all different. If you don't wear makeup and you just like to watch these tutorials and you're curious um, or you just want makeup for special occasions, let me know. I can help you with that too. Um, always remember that whether you wear makeup or you don't, you are gorgeous. Okay? So you don't have to wear it just because everybody else does, but if it makes you feel good, do it. You do you, girl. Okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye.